Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a what I eat in a day. So today I'm going to be giving you guys some great meal ideas and just kind of walking you through kind of some things that we would eat on on a normal day. I want, I kind of say that with hesitation because I change up what we eat a lot. If you've watched my channel for a while, then you already know that. So um, the first thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is get breakfast together. And I may not make myself a whole lot of breakfast just because I tend to kind of do intermittent fasting in the morning and not eat a whole lot, but I definitely am going to make myself some lemon and lime water. It's just super refreshing and it helps me get my water in. Okay, so to go into the smoothies, I have some frozen avocado, which this is, you can find at Walmart. It's super convenient. And then I've got some mango chunks here, and this is one of my little tricks to make smoothies nice and creamy, but still stay on the healthy side, and that is adding some cottage cheese in. I'm gonna use some of my vanilla liquid stevia that I use to sweeten all kinds of things. And then I have some almond milk, and I'm just gonna blend all of that up while their bagels are toasting. Today's mid-morning coffee is brought to you by Maestri House. They sent me their fabulous milk frother and you all know how much I adore coffee and especially having a great frothy cream on top. So it has a couple different options for you and how you choose to operate this milk frother. It has a little whisk and then it also has an attachment that goes over the whisk that you can use to make hot chocolate or to make a creamier foam. The other thing I absolutely love about this frother is the sheer capacity. I've had milk frothers in the past and sometimes they can't even handle all the froth that they make and they overflow. And this one, you will have no problems with that because it holds so much. You have three temperature settings or you can simply make cold foam. This is actually made with a non-dairy creamer, so you can even get a nice frothy top on your coffee with a non-dairy creamer as well. It just beeps to let me know that it was done, and this is so exciting. If you guys are coffee lovers like myself and you love a good creamy latte, then you know how beautiful this foam is. Pull my coffee off over here and we're gonna pour this gorgeous froth cream on top. You can check out Maestri House and all of their fantastic products in the link below. You can also find a discount code there as well. I know that you all will love this frother as much as I do, and it also comes in other color options as well. 
All right, you guys, so my morning has been super crazy and I feel like I didn't even get a chance to say good morning or to chat with you guys or anything like that, but I am about to run in and get my nails redone and my sister is with um, the girls right now. So by the time I'm done with my appointment, it will probably be about lunchtime and I'll be ready to make lunch and then I have a few things I'm gonna work on this afternoon and I'll show you guys a little more about that later. All right, so I am back home from running errands and um, I did get my nails done. I just got kind of a nude color and I'm about to crack open my favorite seltzer right now this is the bellini bliss bubbly from bubbly's i love these i might actually dump it into a cup with a straw because i love using glass straws i'm going to go ahead and make the girls some lunch and myself some lunch the other day in the grocery store i found these really cool wraps that are made with egg whites and i want to make us some turkey wraps for lunch and cut up a watermelon with it being summertime and a lot of fruits and veggies are in season i feel like i'm just constantly cutting up produce and things for us to eat and snack on so we're just going to do a really simple lunch today i actually need to meal prep um i know if you guys watch my channel often you know that i generally like to keep things in the freezer stuff we can kind of grab and go but right now I have not a lot of like lunch and breakfast stuff in the freezer. So I've been just kind of making things here and there. So we're gonna go with something really easy and make these wraps up. So the egg wraps are a lot tastier than I thought they were gonna be. They are really, really good. I got the ones with that are called like the everything seasoning <clears throat> and they have kind of like everything seasoning or bagel seasoning in them. So they've got this nice like little oniony taste. So the girls have been begging for watermelon, so I'm gonna cut up a watermelon for them to have kind of as a nice little sweet treat to the end of their lunch. And I picked this one out, I decided to get a smaller one, and I got one with a yellow bottom because I've been told that those are the ones that actually ripen in the field and they're sweeter. So let me know in the comments what makes you pick a watermelon. What's your trick to finding a sweet one? Oh, this watermelon's a little bit interesting. So look how much white, like compared to the size of the watermelon, look how wide the white is. It smells delicious, so I'm hoping that it's sweet. Mmm. So refreshing, oh my goodness. When you know, mm, you know, whenever it is good enough to eat with at room temperature that it's really good. Generally, I like my watermelon super cold out of the refrigerator, but this one is delicious. All 
All right, so as you can see, the afternoon sun is just pouring in the windows. I actually had to go and like adjust the blinds a little bit just so you guys could see me <laughs> but i've been getting some work done and the girls are playing kylie is actually over here still taking a nap right now um we just kind of had a slower afternoon since the morning was so crazy busy and i have been working on my bullet journal and i know that i posted about it a little bit on my instagram and you guys have asked me to share more about it I'm not gonna get super in depth with it because it's kind of one of those things that is so customized that you have to kind of just figure out your rhythm with it there is so many ways to bullet journal some people's bullet journals are very elaborate some people's are very very simple and just very neutral some people take a ton of color to theirs so I like to keep it kind of pastel but I feel like the more I'm doing it and the longer it goes on that I've been doing it the more creative I get and the more I want to add to it so I posted this page on Instagram which by the way if you like to journal or bullet journal I have been posting pages on Instagram but I wanted to make myself a nice little plant track or tracker um, to keep track of when I water my house plants and whenever I give them uh, fertilizer. I just got a Birds of Paradise and they take a lot more attention and care and sunlight and making sure they're getting enough water. So that's part of what inspired me to start a plant tracker. But a bullet journal, if you're unfamiliar with it, just search it on Pinterest. You will start to get the idea. But basically, it's a system and a way of journaling and planning. I have like my calendar in here and everything. And I was super intimidated to start doing it for the longest time, but I finally decided, you know what, I'm going to jump in. I literally contemplated doing this for probably like two years. I've had all kinds of planners, I've had all kinds of things, things that I could not stick to, but this I have been loving for a couple months now and I really see myself sticking to it because it's literally so customized to exactly what I want and I can draw out my layouts and things like that anyways i could make a whole video about that so maybe at some point i will but um i just wanted to show you my plant tracker because i am getting a few more plants i'm in the middle this is where you guys are getting some like behind the scenes for my home channel but i am in the middle of working on making over and setting up our office in a totally different way and it's really exciting but it's going to include getting some new plants so I wanted to just keep track of everything and nice and neat. Also, this is what the outside of my journal looks like. I can link it below. It is from Amazon. One reason I like this one is it's a little thicker than some bullet journals and it has this little like pen or pencil holder. And so sometimes I don't take all of my highlighters and stuff with me. If I'm like on the run, I just grab this and my pen and I can kind of keep rolling. So whenever I filmed my update video, you guys were super interested in like some homeschooling content. So we will work on that. But this week, like since it's kind of summertime, I'm not taking book work really serious, but I am just kind of catching things as they come. So this week our community had like a community night out and they had a fire truck and a paramedics there and just like teaching kids safety stuff and like our women's center was set up there for our area so they were able to talk to the girls about what they do and so that was really neat we got a lot of like information and helpful teaching tools there pamphlets and things like that just teaching how to use a fire extinguisher and things like that so that we did this week and then if you guys follow me on instagram and i think i mentioned it in my update video but we actually got some swallowtail caterpillars um, last week and i'll insert a little clip here of um what i posted on instagram because they are not caterpillars anymore they have in the last couple of days kind of each taken their turn and um, each day we might have one that's left that's a caterpillar i'll take the camera out there and show you guys but they have turned their into their little chrysalis and so we are anxiously waiting for them to turn into butterflies and it can take anywhere from like 10 to 15 to 20 days it just depends on 
the caterpillar and stuff like that and so i am going to take the camera out on the porch and show you guys so that has been also a part of like school this week is counting those things in and i actually want to go on pinterest and find like a worksheet of the whole like metamorphosis metamorphosis metamor metamor okay we're going back to the worcestershire problem <laughs> uh, metamorphosis there we go metamorphosis process i want to get a coloring sheet or something where they can see the whole like step-by-step -step process even though we're watching it in real life okay so i have the little habitat out here on the porch i got this on amazon and i can leave a link below for it and we may have some car noises i'm sorry <laughs> the girls were playing in water today so their swimmies are up there but we spend so much time out here. This We spend probably more time out here than we do in our actual living room this time of year. And um, I'm getting ready to start thinking about what I want to do for fall out here. But I decided to just leave them out here because they get nice shadows that kind of help them brace from the sun and the wind doesn't hit them too bad out here either. So this side of the habitat is kind of like... A plastic that you can see through it kind of gives you a window since there's a lot of netting going on and this little guy right over here decided to attach himself to the zipper of all places to decide to make your chrysalis the area that we need to actually access this but since they are in chrysalis form they really don't need me to put fresh food in as long as I don't find another caterpillar okay over here I'm gonna do my best to point to them but right there on the tip of my finger <laughs> is another chrysalis and I'm just now seeing right there <laughs> on the other side of the screen we have our last two caterpillars one of them is on this branch and the other one's on the other side of the screen over there and this one here i think is making its chrysalis we'll find out tomorrow but these guys you can see a lot of it's dry right now but but these guys their favorite food is parsley a lot of it's dry right now i should put some extra in since we still have some caterpillars and you might see sometimes they empty their stomachs right before they make their chrysalis so we've got a couple green nice little spots on the edges from them emptying their stomachs out to make their chrysalis. All right, so it is just about dinner time and you all are not gonna be surprised by this, but I'm going to make a sheet pan dinner. I know, I've been on a major sheet pan kick lately and it's just so easy. And I personally love the taste of roasted veggies and protein. I just think it adds this extra depth of flavor when you let it roast in the oven on a pan like that. So we are gonna go ahead and put one together. It's going to be very lemon pepper inspired. So I need to pull out my lemons and get my other ingredients out. But one other thing I wanted to say about these flowers is this morning I woke up really early before my kiddos were up and at it. And obviously Corey was here getting ready for work and I went to the market and I haven't done that in a really long time. It was so just relaxing and peaceful. There is not a lot of people at the market really early in the morning and it was just fun to just be able to browse around and get the things I needed and didn't feel like I was rushed or that everyone else was rushing a lot of the people that were coming in were just coming in for work and like chatting it was just such a different atmosphere so if you get the chance to get up really early and go to the supermarket without anyone else and just take your time it's just kind of this little nice peaceful moment before your day starts so i definitely want to do that again sometime soon and it was just really fun and enjoyable so just wanted to give a little mom tip there if you need a moment of just kind of peacefulness try that out
All right, so we had dinner and it was delicious. The girls even raved about how yummy those veggies were. I'm telling you, doing roasted veggies I feel like is a winner every single time. And I am now in my comfy PJ set, ready for bed. I just made myself a decaf coffee. This frother is just absolutely awesome. It works so well and it makes such creamy, I don't know if you can see, but Mm, the froth on top of this is really good. So I'm going to call it a night. I am really tired I'm gonna sit down with my planner and plan my day for tomorrow But thanks a lot for watching today you guys I had so much fun hanging out with you and just I feel like getting in the swing of creating content that is a little more personal and just fun so let me know what you think of this video. I'm anxious to hear your thoughts and everything, so let me know in the comments. If you're new here, you can subscribe and hang around. Give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.